Oh, g'day Scrappers. Here I've got a modern LG uh, LCD TV. Uh, it's five years old. Um, it's actually not a smart TV, but um, it's kind of close. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and all that. But um, I just wanted to show you quickly uh, um, what's inside this TV. And if you are familiar with scrapping LCD TVs and especially the old plasma TVs, you remember there was a whole lot of boards and all kinds of stuff we can get out of them. Um, uh, this one here I picked up recently. It was actually at a hard rubbish. If you remember my video where I thought I'd pick one up just to have a bit of fun. So it's a, it, they're very thin and you know the modern TVs that you buy right now are even thinner. But I just wanted to show you what's inside and see how many circuit boards and what we can actually get for scrap value for these modern TVs. And if this is anything to go by what the future holds, like, okay, this is five years old, so um, they're getting even thinner, they're getting a lot more technical. Um, I can't see that there's going to be much value in scrapping these TVs, so they're... Um, I'm very surprised at what I saw underneath this back plate so I'm gonna reveal it and um, try and picture how an LCD would normally look you'd have you know your main board you got a uh, power board and uh, maybe another power board and all kinds of things a TCOM board and all that well check this one out you're not gonna believe it well, maybe you will <laughs> Here we go. You ready for the the assortment of goodies? That's it. That is it. <laughs> it's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. I mean, we got one crappy power board. Okay, you know, you might be able to sell it, but um, that's it. A power board and your main logic board. Now, uh, most LCD TVs will have the T-Con board up the top, which is usually a better grade board. You can see the, the two ribbon wires running up to where the T-Con board... Well, they're just going straight to the finger strip boards. The T-Con board is actually part of this. So there's probably about three or four boards in just one board. And, and the power board. Um, and this is a 55-inch TV. You know, it's quite big. And, yeah, I'm just really surprised at how little there is here. So... Just take out this piece of plastic. Okay, so we've got a, the little speakers. They're okay. But... Remember, that's where the T-Con board should be. Nothing. Just got two ribbon wires running to the, um, to the main logic board here. And even that doesn't look anything special. So we've still got finger strip boards, but um, I'd be really surprised if there would be much either. So, just give me a sec, I'll take out the finger strip boards and see if we can actually get a better view. Okay, I only got a little piece. Okay, so that's one side, and just let me get around here. So, okay, um, the width of that is about half an inch. Okay, so admittedly, it's got some decent fingers on it, although it's just flashing, and uh, they're about uh, 15 inches long, and so there's going to be another one, um, but that's that's pretty much it. 
So as far as weight is concerned, there's no weight there. So not worth really even taking out if you're just going to sell finger strip boards as like a mid-grade board. But um, if you're after a little bit of gold recovery, you might get a little bit out of that. I'll get the other one. So that's the other one. So, okay, they're not bad. But that's all you're pretty much getting. You've got a power board, which has got virtually no value, really. Um, So pretty much everything is attached to this one board. And we'll just have a look and see what's under here. Okay, so we do have one BGA chip. Um, it's not the best BGA chip. It's got the copper top. Um, so they're about um, grade three BGA. Um, nothing on that side so that's it and that's the logic board the Tcon board the pretty much everything board apart from power and obviously finger strip so that's all there is a giant 55 inch TV there'll be a little board here for the uh, buttons that's only a low-grade board anyway and that's all we've got now you know, like I said, you could sell this, you know, you could take this out and try and sell it, um, hoping that um, it actually, everything works. There's capacitors aren't blown out or anything like that, or faulty, but uh, it looks okay. Um, if you can be bothered doing that, but that's the only way you're going to get any real value out of scrapping and picking up these really, you know, well, it's actually five years old. So, as you know, the, the new style TVs are even thinner and... Um, you know, some of them are those uh, curved kind of TVs. Um, unless they've got other kinds of um, precious metals in there somewhere, there's nothing really here. Um, so it's... This makes it even harder for, um, you know, for um, e-waste recyclers to actually get any value out of it. <laughs> I just can't see where there's value. Um, this sold, it's just basically a, a, a mid-grade board, you know, so, you know, we've got um, 30, 40 cents worth of value here um, And probably only 10 cents worth of value here if you can't sell it um, So I just can't see how recyclers are going to be able to Geez make money from this kind of stuff unless they're actually getting paid to to pick it up and pay to recycle from governments or whatever because this is just unbelievable we've got a, a massive tv if you remember um a plasma tvs you know you've got huge power boards um like this power board it's the the plasma ones would weigh 10 times more than this you have he, huge copper transformers and stuff um, you got the video kind of the screen boards the whole lot and even a TCOM board usually TCOM boards They're about the first thing that usually blow um, They can be good to sell but no TCOM board. Um, I, I I'm sure that this isn't the the representation of every modern LCD TV um, But I only picked this up because I thought that you know, I'll get some value out of it, but Jesus, <laughs> uh, there's there's no value here really whatsoever for the effort that you've got to go through. And see, I've now got to send this screen back to the recycler so they can um, um, process it because um, I, I don't drop these off to scrapyards or anything like that, as I said, because of so much mercury and all that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you this. I was just blown away. I couldn't believe when I flipped that lid. 
So the actual backing. So this this backing plate is uh, is just a very thin piece of steel. Uh, you know, if it was aluminium, um, you know, then we'd at least get a few dollars for it. But you know, because it's scrap steel, it's only worth about thirty-five cents. Um, and so basically, I can't see much more than um, a dollar worth of value here. And unless, again, if you can sell this kind of stuff, fine. Otherwise, uh, most scrappers, you know, aren't going to be selling stuff like this on eBay. Um, yeah, just, I thought it was really funny and I thought I'd just show you. Uh, it's a real surprise. Um, it certainly kind of puts me off going out and um you know picking up the odd lcd tv these days you know i'm just looking forward to getting a an even newer one something like about two years old or something that's broken down is more current because i just can't see uh yeah this this is a real shame as far as you know scrapping goes and uh, scrapping e-waste uh just no value in lcd tv so in future, I'm just going to kind of leave them and uh, unless, you know, I uh, have to pick it up during a, a business pickup, I wouldn't waste my time. So amazing. But hopefully, uh, this is not the uh, standard of what LCD TVs is going to look like, but those new curved style TVs, um, I don't think there's actually, there'd probably be... A circuit board maybe that big so less and less for scrappers less and less for um basic you know for general e-waste recyclers and um yeah this this could be a problem because uh if e-waste recyclers aren't getting um any real value um you know they're probably going to avoid these too and more will probably end up in landfill um luckily here in australia um the government is subsidizing recycling a little bit so you know a lot of these are, are, are being kept out of landfill or well, most well a few but uh yeah wow just amazing that televisions are just uh, from where we come from the amount of copper that we used to get and and all that down to um down to this it's uh and mind you this board is nothing it's so thin so light um yeah amazing oh well scrappers lcd tvs might not be a um might be a thing of the past for to scrap um but at least we've still got other good stuff well, at least we've still got microwaves um even though a lot of them are aluminium transformers these days um but we've got pcs and all that so all right well keep scrapping guys have fun and uh hope you don't find many of these uh lcds around and you know uh but if you do get the plasmas plasmas obviously still got good stuff in there but you know not a great deal of value it just depends on how you get rid of your your screen at the end um but uh yeah amazing all right guys i'll catch you next time